Oh hello there my loves. I've been shopping to Aldi and yes I am wearing the same clothes as you will see in one of my latest unboxing videos but it's filmed on the same day so no I'm not a trump if that's what you're thinking. Um, so been shopping to Aldi, got over and done with and now for the rest of the week I can just kick back and chill out and if I just want to go for a walk I'll just go for a walk. Simple as like that. Um, obviously because it's a shop for one I don't buy loads. I just get what I need really for the week or longer. I spent £20.86p. There are things as usual that I plan to get and there are things that I didn't plan to get. So as always, I'm going to go through what I did mean to get and then I'll show you what I didn't after, but makes sense. Pickled onions. I am rather partial to pickled onions, especially silver skin. But if I can get the big whopper ones, oh, even better. Um, but Aldi only seem to have the silver skin ones in at the moment. These are 49p. And I just like adding them to my salads or if I'm having anything with my skin on fries. I usually have a little bit of salad with it as well. And, and because I don't buy vinegar, I use the pickling finger. I also wanted to get some more halloumi. Okay, it's, it's quite a fattening cheese, but I love it. I do. I love halloumi. Mm. £1.45 uh, Little gem lettuce at the moment is part of the special six veggie range so it's slightly cheaper um, it's normally 69p so it's not exactly expensive anyway but at the moment it's 45p as always you get two heads also need to get some of a cucumber and I made a bit of a boo-boo with this one. Now cucumbers in Aldi are 43p. Um, but I must have grabbed it from that end because this end is squidgy as fuck. So that's not going to last very long. I think I'm going to have to try and cut off the squidgy bit and then it's my own fault. Normally I give them a good old feel but this is a really fit looking bloke. I didn't want to look like a perv, so yeah. I also need to get some onions, and once again, they are part of Aldi's special six veggie range this week. These are 35p for free. Um, I got myself some nice big ones. Bigger the better. Low fat yogurts. Um, last time I got low fat yogurts was from Morrison's. Uh, but I've opted to get these ones from Aldi instead because they're cheaper. They're only 85p. Um, I, I, I've gone for the coconut vanilla yoghurt. I love these. Normally I'll get this yoghurt in the bigger pot. Um, but knowing me, I, I would probably eat the entire pot in one go. I like it that much. Skin on fries. These are 95p. Um, I can't but not have these. I love skin on fries. Um, and because I only have like a handful, normally about 100 grams, and then I air fry them as well. Um, so, so they're even, they cooked even healthier. Um, yeah, I, I can't go wrong with these. And they're just a nice little treat. But I don't eat chips all the time. But they are just one carby food I, I couldn't give up now. Got myself some baking potatoes again for 39p. I love these. Um, obviously I don't always just have them for baking potatoes. I thought I had one last night. Oh, tea was banging. So I made myself a heaters but about the wraps. And did one of these in the air fryer. Some salad. Ah, oh, so, so good. Um, so yeah, once again, I. I would struggle to knock these on the head as well because they're really versatile. You know, one of these peeled and chopped up and boiled, it's enough for me to make mashed potato for one meal. Um, you know, roasted up as well with some fry light. 
can't go wrong. Cream cheese. I wanted to get some cream cheese because I bought some bagels and I fancy some cream cheese and smoked salmon or even maybe a bacon and sausage bagel one of the days. Um, but I've gone for the reduced fat soft cheese. Uh, so it's 45% less fat. These are 49p according to the receipt. They are indeed. Um, I used to love buying this stuff when I was keto. So I used to make fat bums with them all the time. Yeah, those were the days. Broccoli. Needed some more broccoli. And 47p. Even though I, if you watched my Morrison's, was it Morrison's? No, Asta. Asta and Poundland all. Mm. I bought some fire stick pepperamis from Asta. And um, I'm sorry. I would rather buy me meatsters from Aldi. These are £1.49. Massive saving in price. Bigger, not thicker, but the bigger, the larger, the longer, and tastier. Yeah. You need to try these. You do. Um, I got myself a couple of packets of biscuits as well because, well, I like a couple of biscuits with a cup of tea in the afternoon. Simple as that. I've got plenty of ginger biscuits, which I've got to start hiding because the other half likes them too. Mm, it does. Can't stop filling his face on him when he comes around to see me. So this week I've got some rich tea biscuits. I try and find um, the lowest calorie biscuits I can possibly find. I really, really want some OTs that they do, but they're like 70 calories per biscuit, and that's a bit too much. It's kind of pushing it. So I've picked up some rich tea biscuits because they are only 42 calories. A biscuit and these are 29p and I also got some chocolate chip cookies 52 calories per biscuit and if I'm just fancying a little bit of chucky um, goodness I do the job I told myself no more stodgy carbs you've got to stop buying them crumpets but how can I not buy them crumpets when they're only 29 day? And they're just so nice, especially when they're toasted with some marmalade on the top. I love these. And yeah, I shouldn't have them. I mean, like, looking at 116 calories per crumpet. Maybe it's because I have three in one go. I don't know. I just really like them. Don't hate me for it. Um... Talking about stuff I shouldn't eat. Now, the other day, I went to Morrison's and I picked up these real apples and they were reduced. And I thought, bargain. And I'm a twat and I should have looked at the front of the packet because they turned out to be Bramley apples. But yes, you can eat them raw, but they're very sour. So I thought, mm, I'm going to be brave and I'm going to attempt to make some kind of apple tart or some turnovers or something like that so I grabbed some puff pastry from Asda yesterday and I needed to get some cinnamon to go with the apples to make them taste really good and the fruit and though I actually I hate cinnamon but when it's cooked in something it's really quite mm. so I picked up some ground cinnamon for 49p Benefit bars. I ain't bought these for a while. I have on and off. But this is something I really need to start buying again as a staple essential. I bum these. These were like my saviour last year when I was on keto. They're basically a dupe or a copy of another well-known snack bar brand that you can buy by most supermarkets, I really, really like these. And oh, I'm a bit peed off. They've gone up in price. They used to be 69p. Now they've gone up to 73p. 
and he was a cocked on that us Burnley football lovers really like these um but yeah i've got two lots i've got jaffa and i've got cherry bakewell because these are my favorite flavors and um, and the last thing that was on my list was mickey snacks and sea salt and vinegar flavor um i like these even though yeah i i had those lentil kills that i bought a couple of weeks back they're nice and yeah great they're only 72 calories per bag but i prefer my pea snack right let me proceed with what wasn't i meant to get but i got anyway uh, first thing according to me receipt are these strawberry mousses there's six of them for 79p fruity bubbling smooth 76 calories per pot so that's not bad at all really and and when i'm craving something on the night and i don't really fancy a yogurt i got six soft white pita breads for 35p i really don't think you can get pita breads for any cheaper than that anywhere else i don't know how aldi does it um, and the the plan of these is, I've been eating a lot of pizzas. Well, not a lot of pizzas. It's not like I'm filling my face on them every single week, but I've been treating myself to pizzas. I, mean, I say that I had a pizza last week. I like pizza. That's all I'm going to say. But I've got to stop eating them because there's lots of calories. Lots. So, the plan is, I'm going to go back to making my own little pizzas. Using my pita breads because per pita we're looking at 148 calories and then obviously topped with like tomato puree and some mushrooms and cheese and anything else I want to chuck on that. We're, we're probably looking at about 200-250 calorie per slice of pizza compared to like 7,000. Seafood sticks. I ain't had these for a while. I don't even know why I picked them up. What I do is because I've got some seafood sauce in the cupboard that I bought before Christmas. And I'm just not eating it. I don't know why. I was going to make like a, a prawn cocktail. But I've just not got around to it. So I thought, get some seafood sticks. Use it as a dip. I got some sage and onion chicken breast slices for £1.45. I think you get about four, maybe five slices in there. Just wanted to give it a try, to be honest. Ah, ah, the next item. This was in the special buy cages. I'm not so sure why I bought it. It's not like I really need any more mascaras. I've got quite a few as it is. But um, it's the makeup artist to me. I'm still partial to buying makeup products when they um, call my name. So this is the Cura's Maximum Volume Mascara. I think it's meant to be a dupe for something else. I'm going to attempt to get it out. I am so out of date with makeup products. Once upon a time, I would have known every single mascara, foundation, you name it. I would have known what was coming out new in the market. These days, I just I haven't got a fucking clue. So if anybody recognises that packaging, let me know. They are doing two other kind of mascaras as well. One, the packaging I recognise straight away, and it reminded me of... Um, Mascara that Maybelline did years ago. But I've gone for this one because I like fullness and density to my lashes. Because without mascara, I ain't got lashes. They're just non-existent. But look at that brush. Look how dense that is. Oh. You know some mascaras, when you smell them, they smell rank. 
I'm not getting that with that. It smells quite pleasant. I should look forward to trying it out. It's in the shade black, in case you were wondering. Now, these are £2.79. I just couldn't stop myself. I had to grab it. So, um, as I said, I shall look forward to trying it out and seeing if it makes any difference to the old lashes because I need all the help I can get. I grabbed myself some grapes for £1.39. I know they're little sugar bullets, but I don't half like my grapes. And I'm trying to eat more fruit. That's why I bought those apples and bananas from Morrison's the other day. Um, okay, the apples were a massive fail, but I will create something from them. I might even brave it and eat one. Uh, and the bananas, well, bananas are bananas. I love bananas. And grapes, well, yum. Um, I've grabbed these for Lily. I've never tried anything from Aldi's cat food range before. Jasmine would have just gone, fuck off. I'm not eating that. She would have done. There would have been no point. Jasmine was the most fussiest cat going on on this planet when it came to cat food. There were times when I'd buy her a nice cat, you know, box of cat food. And she, you know, you'd put a sachet into a bowl for her and she'd walk up to it and go, I'm not eating that. So then I'd have to go out and buy her another lot. Oh, she was the most sassiest bitches going. Um, don't know if I've missed a foe. But Lily, bless her, doesn't seem to be so fussy. She's a good thing. So I'm going to, at the moment she's eating Whiskers Kitty food, the kitten one. So, um, to help me as well save money, I'm going to start introducing her to more cheaper brands than what Jasmine used to have. I've been told already that she's all right with Asda's Tiger Cat food, so that's a good thing. But I thought I would try her with these little treats that Audi do. They're called filled pockets, crunchy pillows with a soft centre of tasty salmon. You know, when she's being a good girl. Nice little treat for 55p. And I think I didn't need to get any this way because she's still got a couple of sachets left. But I think once they've gone, I might grab a few little tins of their cat food, try with them, see how she gets on, and she's okay with them. Sorted. Um, when I first walked into Aldi, they had loads of noodles, rice noodles by the door. I don't know why. Maybe they're trying to inspire you to eat more Chinese foods. I don't know. But I got to get some brown folded rice noodles. These were 65p. Um, per quarter packet, 175 calories. That's quite a lot, really. Um, but considering there's no gluten in them, Always good in life. And the last thing that I picked up. Lately I've been a little bit partial. To Yorkshire puddings. Yes, I shouldn't eat them. Because they are not gluten friendly. The last lot I picked up from the car across the road at the weekend. I just fancied a Yorkshire pudding with my Sunday dinner. Um, but I'm not paying £1.85 again. They were, for like, they were quite large ones, but they weren't worth £1.85. Um, so I thought I would give Aldi's Everyday Essential Yorkshire puddings for 50p a try. You get 15 of them, so it should last me a while. And 41 calories per pudding. That's not bad, really. Mmm. So there we go. That's everything I got. I am going to go, guys. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please do let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. 
If you're new to watching me and you want to see more of me and this ugly mug of mine, please hit that subscribe button and come and follow little me. So me and her tail are going to go now. You take care. See you all soon until then. Bye for now.